<laughs> hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. In my hands is the Beretta 92 FS M9A1 22 long rifle. <laughs> That's a lot to remember. Let's get into the review of this fine little training pistol. The Beretta M9A122 is not a new firearm. Um, it has been out since 2016, but I constantly get requests on doing a review on this little handgun. Whether you own a regular M9A1 9mm and you're looking for a trainer pistol or just a 22 long rifle in general just to shoot, this wouldn't be a bad option. Now at this point I have put close to 800 rounds through this little handgun and I have not had one single malfunction. It's been 100% reliable. It's went bang every time I pulled the trigger. And there are pros and cons of having a trainer pistol and a conversion kit in 22 long rifle. We'll go over those pros and cons here in just a minute, but let's shoot some more ammunition. Now I've got some regular uh, 36 grain federal bulk pack ammo here. And we're just gonna slap some steel with it here. All right. All right, she will shoot. She will shoot just fine. Now, like I mentioned before, that there are pros and cons of having a trainer pistol. Now, I'm not big on 22 long rifle conversions. Um, there are some out there that work really well, but for the most part, there's a lot of them that don't work well. The pros of having a trainer pistol is just that. You can train for a 20, with a 22 long rifle much cheaper than you can train with a nine millimeter. However, training with a 22 long rifle should never take the place of you training with your carry gun. So if you carry an M9 nine millimeter, you need to train with that particular um, pistol and also that particular caliber. However, trigger time is trigger time. You can get the fundamentals with this little guy and shoot it all day for just like 20 bucks. It does come with one 15 round magazine. They can be shipped with only 10 round magazine. So if you live in one of those states that only require 10 rounds in a magazine, you can get that set up. Uh, you do have your little lanyard uh, hook right here on the bottom, lanyard loop. And for the most part, it's almost identical to its big brother, the nine millimeter. The overall length is exactly the same. Uh, the overall width is the, on the 22 long rifle is just a few millimeters, you know, narrower. Uh, it holds 15 rounds, just like its big brother. The sight radius is exactly the same. You do have your decocker on both sides and your safety just like the big brother. But you guys were asking me a lot of questions about this firearm. Guns.com was nice enough to send me this little pistol to do a review on. And for the longest time, I thought Guns.com was just like uh, where you got your Second Amendment news, but they actually sell firearms. So they're the ones that sent me this handgun. So if you're looking for any kind of handgun, whether it be new or used, go check out Guns.com. But as I mentioned before, it does have a 15 round magazine. And uh, the Beretta 92, guys, it has been out for a long time. It's been in movies, all kinds of movies, very famous movies. And, you know, up there with the Glock, it's probably the most recognized handgun of all time. Uh, that and the Uzi, I assume. But they are known for their accuracy. They're known for their reliability. The military has adopted them. Police departments have adopted them. Uh, they just run. Now, I'm not getting into the bait, uh, you know, whether the M9 is the greatest nine millimeter ever made. I'm not going down that road by any means, but let's load up some more ammunition and let's do a little bit more shooting. I have been 100% uh, pleased with the reliability and for the accuracy, it's not really that bad. It's not that bad at all. Now it's not a match pistol, but it will get the job done and it is fun slapping steel with it. So. All right, now you can shoot it in single or double action. Let's go double action first here. Now 
Now, let's go over some more of the details. Now, the trigger pull and the reset is almost identical to that of the M9 uh, A1 9mm. It does have your standard rail right here on the bottom so you can use or mount a flashlight laser or a banana, whatever you want to mount on the bottom of there. And you do have your plastic panels right here on the side of the handgun. Now you can change those out for other panels, uh, just like on the regular M9. And you do have your lanyard loop right here on the bottom. It does have a three dot sighting system and these sights are dovetailed. The rear sight, uh, you can change the windage uh, by unloosening a set screw right in the center of it. So if you're shooting a little left or right, you just simply loosen that screw up and drift the sight left or right. The front sight is not adjustable. However, with the um, pistol, when you buy it, it does come with a replacement sight that sits up a little bit higher. So if your point of aim is a little bit different than my point of aim or anybody else's point of aim, it does come with a separate front sight. As I mentioned before, the Beretta 92 has been in so many movies. I remember watching Lethal Weapon for the first time. Uh, as a child and I saw Riggs draw the smiley face on his target. Now I know that was a lot of Hollywood because you can look at his uh, stance, you can look at his trigger pull, you know, him flinching every time the firearm went off, no way that he could keep those rounds so precise, but you know, it's Hollywood. Have a nice day. But I remember thinking to myself, I was like, man, either he's a great shot or that pistol will flat out shoot. But I am loading up some CCI standard velocity ammunition here. A lot of people are wondering if uh, it will cycle standard velocity ammunition before I was shooting some 36 grain federal high velocity. It cycles that just fine. But this is firing a little bit slower. So let's see if it will cycle this ammunition. Got 15 rounds here. All right, let's go the first round. Let's go the first round double action here. All right. All right, let's go out at 100. All right. All right, shoots. It shoots great. The trigger pull is almost identical to that of the 9mm Big Brother. And as you notice, the slide does lock back on the last shot. I think we went over pretty much everything that we need to talk about on this little 22 LR. Now, whether you have the 9mm Big Brother uh, and you want to do uh, pick one of these guys up, I think they MSRP around, you know, a little over $400. So you can pick them up in stores for around $400. I think that's what guns.com has it on their website for. It's a little uh, around 400. But let's finish the video out with a little bit more shooting. So, like I said, I have shot this gun a bunch. Um, it's a good shooter. I'm probably going to get the threaded barrel. Uh, on it, I think Beretta sells those on their website. I think they're around 120, 130 bucks. So it's just a simple barrel swap and I can get um, the threaded barrel. They do sell them already with a threaded barrel. So, but if you already have this particular model and you want a threaded barrel, they do just sell the threaded barrels. All right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to thank guns.com for sending me this little plinker to give a honest review on. And, you know, for the most part, I have been 100% pleased with it. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Go over to my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter page and ask those questions there. Until next time, guys, y'all be safe and keep blinking. Mm -hmm.